All right, so in this demo, what I want to do is kind of show you how I created uh, this overhead office effect. So um, when we look at the original, uh, what we can see is actually made up of three components. Now, this is all created in PowerPoint. And what we have is we have the overhead office. So it's all grouped together. So if I click on it, you can see I have the overhead office here. And then I've got um, these little people shapes. And then I've got little office equipment. So those are just things built inside PowerPoint. And, um, and then uh, with that, I also have underneath the floor, I've got a gradient shape, and then I added these shadows and doors. So I'll kind of walk you through the steps of building that. So the first thing we want to do is we want to actually build the office shape. So if I take this office shape out, uh, this is what it looks like right here. And basically, it's just a, it's just a PowerPoint shape that I've manipulated a little and this is actually grouped together to create the walls. What's nice is with PowerPoint 2007 uh, I can keep it grouped together but I can still move things around. So for example, uh, let's say I wanted this office here to be smaller. Um, I could uh, click on a shape and I can use the arrow keys and actually move it around and so you can see um, it changes my office shape and and yet it's still grouped together so that's one of the nice features in PowerPoint 2007 by uh, being able to remain grouped and still work within the objects in the grouping but let's go ahead and build something from scratch so the first thing we want to do let me open up the win window here is we're gonna insert a shape I'm just gonna go ahead and take a uh, rectangle shape and uh, you can start with that now, if you want to round it out and, and do like I did here, you, you know, that's easy enough to do. But we'll go ahead and start with a rectangle shape. And what we want to do is turn off the fill. So we want to go make sure there's no fill. And then the walls are always going to be the color that comes with the, um, the line color. So I like to work with the line colors that are within the um, PowerPoint color themes because then I can easily change the, the line color. So I'm going to go ahead and just choose... Uh, I can just keep the default uh, blue uh, that we get. So I'll go ahead and choose. I'll just choose a darker blue. So uh, we're working. Uh, well, we'll just keep the, the regular blue. But if we come back here, this was created with the blue. And I'll show you. If I go to the design themes and I change the color, you can see I can quickly uh, change the colors um, of the walls. So I kind of like working with the design schemes. So we're going to go with the blue. And now all we need to do is apply a perspective on it and th and that's really easy to do in PowerPoint. Uh, PowerPoint the older versions of PowerPoint are a little different but uh, basically you're just going to apply perspective in PowerPoint 2007 uh, what we want to do is open up the um, format shape box and then you've got your 3D formatting here. Now I'm going to go ahead and use a preset uh, perspective so I just go here I'm going to choose one of the perspective tools uh, this one right here uh, looks fine to me so I'm going to click on that and that's kind of a good starting point and now you can see I've got my uh, the right perspective on there but the walls aren't formed yet and so what I want to do for the walls is I want to come to the 3D formatting and then you can see I've got a depth option so I can go ahead and change that and you know what, what I usually tell people if you're not quite sure uh, what you can or can't do just go ahead and put numbers in there so like if you didn't know what these did uh, let's say we want to know what the bevel height did let's put a hundred in there and see what happens so you can see uh, what happens there I'm gonna go ahead and uh, back that out uh, we're gonna use depth so we're gonna start with 150 and see what that gives us okay that's a little wide um, so I'm gonna just do a hundred hundreds probably good for me and there you see I've got my office shape. Now what I can do is I can come in here and play around with the lighting. So let's say I want it lighter or darker. I've got a few things I can do. One is I can uh, play with the different uh, finishes that are material finishes and to see what I like. Um, I kind of like the regular matte finish. Um, there's a wireframe which kind of could work in some circumstances but I like the matte finish and then you can play with different lighting schemes and um, so we can go with like a, a warmer light we can go with uh, the three-point lighting I kind of like the default so we'll just go ahead and keep that so that's basically how to create the office in the next tutorial I'll show you how to build the rooms